And Mike Morrell, the former deputy director of the CIA, said on this program, almost certainly our enemies knew she had this server and, and compromised that server. Do you think that if she is called, she ought to testify in public or she ought to be deposed at length like Blumenthal was by the Benghazi committee? Well, she should certainly be deposed. And whether it's in public or not, um, I, I would even say that, look, it may be best to depoliticize the deposition, let her do it in private, because if she does it in public, which I'd certainly find extraordinarily interesting, there will be those who say it's just a political witch hunt trying to uh, humiliate her in public. What we really want to do is not humiliate her. We want to get to the truth. And if getting to the truth can be done more effectively, uh, more efficiently by doing it in private, uh, with the results released at some point, then I think that's better than continuing to have this stonewall where we never find out what the heck happened. I, I got to move on to other things, but I got to ask one more time. I'm just so shocked that people aren't saying she has to close up her campaign, Mike Huckabee. It's a, to me, it's a campaign derailing event when you compromise the national security, when you have someone like Blumenthal corresponding with you in this fashion, influencing policy, being paid by other people. I, 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 did you deal with this in Arkansas? Did they get the same sleigh ride in Arkansas? Absolutely they did. I mean, look at all the things that came out at the national press once he ran for president, and even after he became president. Uh, the Arkansas press never pushed for any of the information. They knew a lot of things, Hugh. They knew many of the things that the national press would later ferret out. They just didn't report it. And there was uh, an institutional wall it was so difficult to break through that wall. It was so challenging because of the uh, collusion between the press, the business community, and the political community. And keep in mind, there was only one political community. It was the Bill and Hillary political machine. It was the Democratic Party. There was no significant Republican Party. When I got elected to lieutenant governor, I was the first Republican in over 25 years, uh, only the fourth in 150 years. Uh, they nailed my door shut from the inside and got away with it, and it stayed nailed shut for 59 days because there was no one to tell them they couldn't, and huh. the press didn't care. 